hello guys so yeah welcome back once again on my channel so in this video we're going to be making our trending triangular cow top so that's right for today guys you're highly welcome back to my channel so you can see here on my table i have this is my fabric i'll be using this crepe fabric okay so here you can use one yard so but i have one yard and some extra inches so that will do but i had made another top i first i previously made a top with the same crepe a different material i actually used one and half for that particular one so and it came out well so you can use one and half you can use one inch or uh, so that's it okay guys so the next you're going to do you're going to hold the raw edge of the fabric okay so the place they normally measure they are so you're going to hold it together you're going to fold it into two you can see it's folded into two after folding it into two the next thing you're going to do you're going to fold it in a triangular form just the way we normally fold our 180 degree flare okay so that is just the same way you're going to fold it you can see it's unfold in a triangular form this is it so this part is the folded end okay so here is the open you can see here is the open side so after that now you can see we are good to go we'll start our marking so the first thing you're going to do from this pointed end here you are going to locate where your neck line will fall so we're going to determine so in this video i used six inches or six and a half so you are going to locate that point and mark a straight line okay so you can see here this is my points i've marked a straight line so after that the next thing now you're going to do from that point which you said as your um starting point you're going to determine you can see i'm trying to see the length of my top all i have i had about 32 inches or so so if you're using one and a half you have a longer top so after that the next thing is to determine our uh, neck depth so here in this video i used about two inches or so is either one and a half or two inches of the neck depth like i said before i have previously made a a top this particular top with a different crepe material so in that video i used the video didn't come out very well okay so that's why i'm i'm re, i'm trying to re remade this video okay so that's why I, I, I repeated the tutorial so in that one i used three inches for the neck depth okay three inches for the neck depth and seven inches for the neck width neck width yeah so after that now the next thing you can see here on this edge you can come up on this uh, open side from the down you are going to measure seven inches or seven and a half inches so this place will serve as your sleeve opening so here this is where your hand is going to come out from so this is the shoulder so this is serve as the sleeve opening and here is the down part so now the next thing now is to we are going to cut it out you can see that is is we are our we are finished marking our top so guys before you are marking your neck depth make sure you don't you curve it out you blend the sharp points so that it will not be it will not form a v so here are this center front and center back side the down you are going to measure divide your hip circumference by four plus extra one inch so i'm going to locate where that falls so you can see where i'm trying to mark so that is where my hip second thread divided by four plus one inches falls so let me cut out this part so that i'll be able to understand what i'm trying to do this is the extra this is ss we don't need this part so i'm trying to cut it off i've gotten rid of it so here now so from this point in, you can see that this point in here is the down is the down part this point in the the angular the triangular the one facing the neckline the folded end so from there you're going to locate where your hip measurement divided by four plus one inches falls so you're going to give it a notch so you can see i've cut out my neckline so i don't want it to be curvy or like forming a v so i'm trying to blend it so that's what you see me doing in the video i'm trying to blend it in so that that part that I raised up will 
will be leveled with the neckline. If you don't do this, by the time you finish joining and you wear it, you find out that the the shoulder joining will be hanging, like there will be puffy. It will be puffy. Yeah, I think that's the right word. So, so you can see now I've blended it in. So after that, now the next thing I'm going to open this side. You can see this side. I'm trying to open one part of the side is unfold. So I'm trying to open it up. After that, the next thing I will trim off the excess anything trimmable. I'm trying to remove them. See, they are not equal. So as you can see, my notching. This is my armhole notch. So this is where my hand is going to come out from. So I'll give it so. And here is the hip side as well. This is where my hip measurement falls. Okay. So after that, you're going to give it a notch. Then you open it up. You can see what our top looks like. So this is this. You can see the center front is in a triangular form. So you can see the neckline is almost forming like a V. So whenever you are cutting this type, you have to anything on bias, you have to be very, very careful. If not, it will give you a different shape. So now you can see. So the next thing I'm going to fold. You can use a bias to fold, but I'm going to be folding my I'll fold a quarter of an inch and I'll fold again. I will repeat the same thing on both on both um sides so after that i'm going to join the shoulders then i will stop at my sleeve opening so let's get straight to our sewing machine and do that so here on my sewing machine you can see i'm trying to fold i fold a quarter an inch it's not up to half inch a quarter then i'll fold it again then i'm going to stitch you can use a bias strip to do this, but normally I prefer this way. It gives a very nice and sweet finishing. So, so this is it. I will repeat the same thing on the other side. So I'm done that. So the next thing is going. I'm going to hold them shoulder to shoulder. At this point, that side is serving as the shoulder. You can see I'm going to hold them together. Then I'm going to run a stitch using half an inch. I will run the stitch from the shoulder down to the way I notched. So I'm going to stop on the notch area. So you can see I've stopped on the notch area. So this area will serve as my high, my sleeve opening. So after notching it, the next thing is to hem. We're going to be hemming or folding our sleeve opening. So now I just folded it. You can fold it half or a quarter of an inch. Then you fold it again. You can see then you run a stitch all the way through to where you, you stopped your stitching. Then you flip your machine. You can see the way I flipped my, fab, my fabric. So you flipped it, making sure the needle is holding the fabric firm. So you're going to fold the second side. Then after that, you stitch all the way down okay so this is what you are going to do after this you are going to repeat it on the other side so you can see you sew it down so after this now i'll go ahead and hold i'll be i'll be stitching the same thing join the shoulder to shoulder stop at my sleeve opening then finish up the sleeve opening by folding it so this is what I have here. You can see I'm done with the sleeve opening. So we are now left with hip, where our hip is going to stop. So this is my sleeve opening now. And this part is still open. You're going to close it. So you close it here. You run a stitch all the way. You stop at where your hip measurement divided by four stops. So you got you're going to stop there. So this point inside now is the opening, is where your as in where from where you'll be wearing it. Hmm. I don't know the English I'll use again. Okay, so now you can see what I'm trying to demonstrate here. So this is the sleeve opening. So you're going to close the down part like so. They are going to stop where your hip where were notched earlier. You can see the notch parts. So this is from the down part where I measured my hip circumference by four plus extra one inch. So after that, the next thing is going, you're going to close this up. You can see I've closed this side. So I'll close the other one as well. 
so this is you can see i'm going to fold a quarter of an inch or you can fold half inch and you fold again then you are going to sew it all the way through where we stopped you can see where i sewed and stopped so i'm just trying to finish up the the other side or the other the opening part of this uh, top the triangular part the down part so that is what i'm trying to do i hope this is clear so you can see now so so this is the outcome so i'm trying to so this down part this pointing part is the down part so you can see i've finished one part so here i'm trying to find the second one so this is the sleeve opening so this is the down part you can see you're going to secure it for the raw edges so that is what i'm trying to i was trying to explain there so after that now when you get to this where you notched you're going to stop then you flip your fabric and finish the rest so guys so this is the final look if you find this tutorial helpful please kindly give it a thumbs up subscribe like and share thank you so much guys for joining me on this tutorial bye see you in my next video